All right now, brothers and sisters of the Leafs, Senor Cigar here, you are wherever you are, hopefully practicing social distancing, staying safe, staying hydrated, all of that. It is Thursday and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, time for the New York CNS virtual hearth. So fam, here I am, Lower Manhattan, Soho, Father Fagan Park. A little me time before the workflow, working the evening shift again tonight, putting some smoke in the air with this uh, fine tobacco product, Cigar Bundles of Miami, 6 by 64 Maduro Spice Bomb. And, uh, oh yeah, then y'all has to do the diet, Mountain do is to you. Oh, yeah. Always good going down. So, Sam, I got to get a little something off my chest, okay? As you all know, I'm a punk. I don't do my grocery shopping anymore. I do it through Instacart. I do it from Stop and Shop. So today, I went through Instacart at this particular place. Now, when I do this, I put it in the special instructions, and I put it for every single item that I pick. If item is not available, do not replace. So I'm getting ready to get dressed because I know this, the, the uh, delivery is going to come. I start getting text messages from this moron. Oh, uh, they don't have this, so I replaced it with that, and I went, so I had to get on there, text back, dude, did you read the special inst instructions? If item not available, do not replace. Oh, but I had to, no, you don't have to ask. If it's written in the special instru instructions, do what you are told. Am I wrong? Sam, let me know. Hit me up in the, in the comments. Let me know if I'm wrong. But this seems to happen more times than not. And I have to keep going back and forth with these people. Read the special instructions. If item is not available, do not replace. All right. Now, got that out of the way. So, Sam, here we go. Shout out to the medical professionals, first responders, EMS workers, police and fire, postal workers, MTA workers, Delivery people, truck drivers going across the country, the mom and pop shop owners, the bodega shop owners, the laundromat owners, anybody who's been considered or deemed essential personnel. Thank you for what you've been doing during the pandemic. Thank you for taking chances with your own health and safety for the health and safety of all of us in this city, in this state, and around this country. What you have been doing, it is so greatly appreciated. Saying thank you is not enough, but we do start out by saying thank you every single thing you have been doing during the pandemic. And of course, I got to remind everybody, please check in on the elders of your family. Your family and friends who live alone, they need to hear from you. They need to know that they are not alone. So please get in touch with them any way you can, whether it's through a phone call, a text message, social media, video chat, Zoom, house party, Google Duo, FaceTime, Skype, and remind the people within your circle of friends to do that very same thing. Get in touch with their elders and their family and friends who live alone. No one needs to be alone at this particular time in our lives. So please take the time, make the time, reach out, find out how they're doing, see if they need anything, see if there's anything you can do for them. If this is someone you profess to love, then this should not be a problem, family. Because it is all about support. And while we talk about support, let us not forget all those fine ladies and gentlemen, those great people that own those mom and pop shops, those great small businesses, those tremendous cigar lounges and shops 
in the tri-state area. They need our support now more than ever as well, whether it's a shop where you can come in, make that purchase, grab and go, or maybe it's a lounge with comfortable seating. You can come in, make that first purchase, find a spot to mm, plop, sit back, relax, light up, put some smoke in the air like so. Maybe a pair that find tobacco products with your drink of choice, whether it be an adult beverage or a soft drink. Once again, that is your choice. And maybe even have a conversation with another brother or sister of the leaf. But none of that can be done unless you make the effort to go to that mom and pop shop. So break open the piggy bank, fellas, open up that wallet, load the dust out. Pull out some dollar dollar bills, y'all, and make your way to that mom and pop shop, whether you're driving or you're letting someone else do the driving on the, in the Uber or a Lyft, bus or a train, bicycle, e-bike, moped, uh, motorcycle, skateboard, uh, 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 pogo stick. Roller skates, I said roller skates, and just make your way to that mom and pop shop. And once you get there, walk right in, take a look around, make your selections, and then step right up to that cash register and make it rain, baby. Make it rain. Spend a few dollars to keep their cash register ringing and their doors open because it is all about support. Hashtag support mom and pop shops. Hashtag support small business. Hashtag support black business. Hashtag support Latino business. Hashtag support Asian business. Hashtag support small business family. We are all in this together and we need each other now more than ever. So please take the time, make the time to go and support that tremendous small business, that mom and pop shop. All right. It is the right thing to do. So fam. I'm getting ready to start my work day, but what about you? Maybe you're at the end of your day. Maybe your day is already over. For what's the plan for tonight? What you going to do? Maybe a little dinner with your significant other. Hmm? Maybe you're going to hang out at a bar with some friends, throw some back, pound some down. Maybe you're going to go to that mom and pop shop, that great cigar lounge to put some smoke in the air with some brothers and sisters of the leaf. Maybe you got tickets to see a movie or a Broadway show or a concert or, or a comedy show. Maybe you decided you want to go sing a little karaoke. Whatever you have planned for tonight or any night moving forward, please make sure that a part of that plan is staying safe. Stay safe so you can stay healthy, so you can stay alive. Coronavirus is no joke. We've never experienced anything like this, and we got to do all we can to keep ourselves safe. All right? And a part of staying safe, staying healthy, whenever you go out, have that bottle of water or that lemonade or that iced tea or whatever you need to stay refreshed and hydrated. Family, take it from Senor Cigar. That is a little piece of advice that you're going to want, and you will thank me later. All right? So, fam, I'm going to wrap this up. So I can continue to enjoy this fine tobacco product, the cigar bundles of Miami 6x64 Maduro Spice Bomb. Yeah. And uh, then it's off to work I go. Press those buttons, ride those levels, and do what I do. The family, please do not forget. Check in on the elderly family. Your family and friends who live alone, they need to hear from you. They need to know that they are not alone. They need to know that someone loves them. They need to know that together we will get through this. And yes, we will get through this. Hashtag support mom and pop shops. Hashtag support small business. And whenever you're going out, please make sure that you have a plan to stay safe so you can stay healthy, so you can stay alive. That is it. That is all I got. I am that man, Senor Cigar, enjoying my fine tobacco product. Pop in my collar. Because I can. And as always, I want to wish you long ashes. And better days, everybody.
enjoy the rest of your Thursday. At some point, I do hope you'll be able to put some smoke in the air. Y'all know I love you like I said, kid loves cake, and I hope to talk to you again real soon, maybe tomorrow. But in the meantime, holla, if you hear me. Yeah, bye-bye.